Hello everyone, my name is Moisful Kamior of MSc Third Semester Physics Department of Assam Don Bosco University. In this video, I will be talking about Ohm's Law. This is a picture of Ohm's Law, where there is a resistance R, current I, and voltage V. Ohm's Law states the relationship between electric current I and the potential difference V. The current that flows through most conductors is directly proportional to the voltage applied to it. George Simon Ohm was the first German scientist to verify Ohm's law experimentally. Hence, the general formula of Ohm's law is V equal to IR. One of the most basic and important laws of electric circuit is Ohm's law, which stated as the current I flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference V across its end provided the physical conditions, temperature, strain, etc. do not change. That is, mathematically, V is directly proportional to I, or V is equal to IR, where R is the constant of proportionality and is called the resistance of a conductor. Mathematically, this current voltage relationship that is V equal to IR. In this equation, the constant of proportionality R, that is the resistance, has a unit of ohms with a symbol omega. The same formula can be written in order to calculate the current and resistance respectively, as I equal to V by R or R equal to V by I. Ohm's law only holds true if the provided temperature and the other physical factors remain constant. In certain components, increasing the current raises the temperature. An example of this is the filament of a light bulb, in which the temperature rises as the current is increased. In this case, Ohm's law cannot be applied. Now, according to this formula, mathematical expression V is directly proportional to I. If V is increased, I also increases. If V is decreased, I also decreases. That is, they depend on each other. Now, for example, in the figure, the potential difference between the points A and B of a conductor is V and the current flowing is I. Then V by I will be constant and equal to R, which is the resistance of a conductor between point A and B. As I've said earlier, if V is double up, the current also will double up, as they are proportional to each other. So the ratio V by I is constant, that is R, which is the resistance of the conductor. Again, in this figure, if a graph is drawn between applied potential difference V and current I flowing through the conductor, it will be a straight line passing through the origin as shown in the figure above. Now note that the slope of the graph gives the resistance of conductor that is tan theta equal to V by I which is equal to R. Example, those conductors like metals which obey Ohm's law are called ohmic conductors. It may be noted that Ohm's law is true only for ohmic conductors. Now we come to the verification of Ohm's law. In this diagram, we can see there is a ammeter A, voltmeter V, resistor R, battery B, K, K and voisted RH. Resistance is measured in ohm, ammeter is measured in ampere, and voltmeter in volt. Now, the resistor A of an unknown value is connected in series to a cell through a K, K an ammeter and a roasted as shown in this figure. Now, a voltmeter is attached in parallel to resistor. On closing the current I with a key, the ammeter and the voltmeter show the current flowing through the circuit and the potential difference at the ends of the resistor are respectively. The current in the circuit can be changed by adjusting the slider of the roasted. This leads to the change in potential at the ends of the resistor, 
which is recorded by the voltmeter. In this way, we can take readings from ammeter and voltmeter. We can take readings as shown in this table. The current I is measured in amperes and the potential difference is measured in volts. Now, the ratio of the potential difference and the current for each reading is given by V1 by I1 equal to V2 by I2 equal to V3 by I3 equal to V4 by I4 which is equal to constant. Thus, V by I equal to constant which is denoted by R. Hence, the Ohm's law is verified. Another example, alternately if the graph is plotted with the potential difference on y-axis and the current on x-axis, then the graph is a straight line, as shown in this figure. Now, as the graph between V and I shows a straight line, therefore, V is directly proportional to I, or V is equal to I, R, where R is the resistance. Hence, the Ohm's law is verified. Now the slope of the graph, that is y-axis divided by x-axis, v by i, gives the magnitude of resistance of the conductor in ohms. Now we come to the numerical problems. Question number one says, if the resistance of an electric ion is 50 ohm and the current of 3.2 ampere flows through a resistance, find the voltage between two points now we are asked to calculate the value of voltage with the value of current and resistance given to us then cover v in the triangle now we are left with i and r therefore we use the formula of ohm's law that is v is equal to ir substituting the values of r and I as given in the question we get V equal to 3.2 into 50 that is 160 volts since the potential difference is measured in volts problem number two an EMF source of 8.0 voltage is connected to a purely resistive electrical appliances an electric current of 2.0 ampere flows through it Calculate the resistance offered by the electric appliances. Now in this question, given is the voltage that is 8.0 volt and um, a current of 2.0 ampere. Now we have to find the resistance offered by the electrical appliances. Now we can find the resistance by using the Ohm's law. The Ohm's law states that V is equal to IR. Now from this formula we can find R. That is R equal to V by I. Now substituting the value of V by I, we get 8.0 divided by 2.0, which we will get 4 ohm. That is the resistance offered by the electrical appliances is 4 ohm. Now we come to the applications of Ohm's law. The main application of Ohm's law are number one, to determine the voltage, the resistance or current of an electric circuit number two ohm's law is used to maintain the desired voltage drop across the electric electronic components number three ohm's law is also used in this dc ammeter and other dc shunts to divert the current and lastly we comes to the limitations of ohm's law following are the limitations of ohm's law number one Ohm's law is not applicable for unilateral electric elements like diodes and transistors as they allow the current to flow in one direction only. Number two, for nonlinear electrical elements with parameters like capacitance, resistance, etc., with voltage and current, the voltage and current won't be constant with respect to time, making it difficult to use Ohm's law. Now, frequently the question asked about Ohm's law is, what does Ohm's law state? Ohm's law states that the current through a conductor between two points is directly proportional to the voltage across two points. Is Ohm's law universal? No, Ohm's law is not universal. 
This is because Ohm's law is only applicable to ohmic conductors only as iron and copper, but is not applicable to non-ohmic conductors such as semiconductors. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you so much.